What is fan performance? It's not quite easy to define as it can mean several things. Depending on the field of application, the fan has to either haul large quantities of air or create high air pressure, sometimes even both. All the while it's important to note which RPM speeds led to which results. So we have designed a very simple test which should make everything much clearer. When you browse our fan assortment and take a closer look at pure wings, shadow wings and silent wings, then a third contribution factor becomes clear quite quickly, the noise factor. You can't just crank up airflow and air pressure without minding the volume. This is where years of experience, high-end engineering and lots and lots of testing come into play. Our first testing environment was quite simple. The funnel focused the air and led it into an acrylic glass pipe. Unfortunately, this led to the so-called pushback effect. The swirled up air got reflected off the funnel and bounced back. So we have devised an airtight chamber and sealed its two openings with clay, thus creating a simpler version of the complex fan testing chambers which are being used in our production facilities. Let's start with our Pure Wings 2. This all-rounder is often used on our air coolers and delivers excellent cooling results at merely 20.2 decibels. For our test we put a table tennis ball weighing a mere 2.7 gram into the pipe and sent it to the starting point. Then we close the hatch and activate the fan at precisely 12 volts, thereby making sure that all the different startup velocities are being accounted for. As soon as we remove the hand, the completely air-filled chamber accelerates the ball, which leaves the pipe after 1.09 seconds. Our Silent Wings 3 achieve similar results, but you have to keep two things in mind. Compared to the 1500 RPM of the Pure Wings 2, our flagship fans run at a slightly lower 1450 RPM and is also 3.8 decibels quieter. As a case fan, the Silent Wings 3 offers also a great air displacement while being 19% quieter. But it's not just about cubic feet of air displacement for CPU coolers. Depending on the fin density and the length of the heatsink, the air pressure is a deciding factor which has to be balanced against the airflow. So let's check that out. For this test we use a styrofoam ball which is not only much lighter but also smaller than the table tennis ball. Also we move the pipe much closer to the fan as its few millibar of air pressure only really show within the first few centimeters. So the air hits the very light styrofoam ball which reacts faster to the air pressure while being less prone to the displacement airflow within the chamber due to its smaller diameter. Best to imagine this as a garden hose within an aquarium. If you squeeze the end of the hose with your thumb, you increase the pressure while the volume stays the same. So that you can very effectively accelerate a submerged ball, but only for a short distance. It's kind of like jump starting the ball, but in the middle of the pipe it's more the following air volume which pushes it towards the exit. Our Pure Wings 2 manages to do this within 0.91 seconds, while our Silent Wings 3 wins the race with 0.83 seconds. Which doesn't come as much of a surprise as the funnel shaped air inlets of the Silent Wings 3 create a much tighter air pressure. It's 1.25 mm water gauge versus 1.79. But you can't simply transfer this 43% growth onto the time as only the initial kinetic force is affected. Taking the high speed version of our Silent Wings 3 into account again changes the results as the law of physics dictate that the volume increases proportionately to the rotational speed while the pressure grows proportionately to revolution speed squared. As a result the table tennis ball is being forced out in 0.7 seconds at 2000 rpm, about a third faster than with the common Silent Wings 3. And the styrofoam ball also delivers faster results with 0.57 seconds. Generally speaking, the results for a fan optimized for air pressure and the one for airflow are largely negligible. And when taking noise development into account, you have to compromise eventually. But perfectly balancing these things out in order to achieve maximum optimization is our daily business. Well then, stay quiet.